Following the outbreak of the ginger plant disease in Nigeria, especially in states where it is most grown, a sensitization awareness process has commenced for ginger farmers in nine local government areas of Kaduna State, while more than 1,000 farmers being taught how to adopt the best agro Economic practice that is in line with the international process of mitigating the present outbreak. Well, here's the report. It is a sensitization program that centers on determining the major disease for the outbreak, its symptoms, causes, and source, as well as learning from the experience of countries that suffer the same. Almost 80% of the ginger farmers are affected as a result of this outbreak and following closely uh, it is as a result of bad agricultural practice over the years that actually resulted to what is an outbreak today on the ginger commodity. We, we say ginger in Nigeria but the hope of ginger in Nigeria is South Africa. It's just like the petrol in Niger Delta. That's the, the most expensive cash crop we have in Southern Kaduna. And with what is happening, I call on my people to really give in their all each time there's a program like this. In the same vein, ginger farmers are calling for the intervention of the federal government to collaborate with non-governmental agencies who are interested in managing the outbreak of the ginger disease. But some were able to uh, obtain loan is to farm their ginger and in their farm now they cannot even get even a, a, a solo of the, this thing. In fact, they, their farm has been destroyed by the disease. So we wish the government will come to our intervention for maybe they can compensate the farmers so that by next year we will start afresh to, uh, to sustain the farming of ginger. So the our call to the government is that they should come down and be in farmer's shoes, especially in this time. Please, we need help from the government to do away with this disease. And we need, we need empowerment. When we talk of empowerment, so that we can be able to secure the remaining ginger that we think is left for the next farming. So we pray that government will come in to assist us with herbicide and other sort of uh, chemicals we want to tackle this issue. This is just exactly what has happened to Southern Kaduna right now. That almost all ginger farms have been invest infested by uh, uh, pe pe pest and disease in the ground, particularly uh, bacterial disease and fungal disease, which is almost putting uh, ginger farmers out of production. And that is why we have come around to mobilize them, to bring them together, to sensitize them, to train them, so that they can now understand the best uh, ways of produ producing ginger. The awareness they are bringing to the local farmers is uh, heartwarming. All hope is not gone. And uh, if uh, other stakeholders would follow suit, we believe that the ginger challenge this year uh, can be revamped. Amid the increasing rate of banditry in the northwest of Nigeria, Southern Kaduna has remained the largest producer of fresh ginger in the country, with a large landscape for cultivation.